channel. If you are new here, my name is Eamon. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I have missed you. Hello. So today is something super fun. I was actually very excited about this video. So what is like the main thing that's happened over this weekend that people are just talking about? No, it's not the Elon Musk takeover of Twitter. No, it's definitely not that. It is the BBMAs, you guys. The Billboard Music Awards happened this weekend, and there was so many looks that A, I was like, oh, okay, I do want that in my wardrobe. There was also so many looks that I was like, did nobody style you? Did, no, did you not look in the mirror before you stepped onto the red carpet? Did none of your good friends tell you that, you know, like, maybe that's not very flattering? Did no one say that? I mean, you know, when you're rich and famous, you just have fake friends everywhere, so I understand. But I am not that fake friend, simply because, you know, I don't get any of the benefits of you being rich or famous. So I will tell it as it is. So let's get into it. I pulled some of the best and worst looks from the carpet, and we're gonna go through them. We're gonna rate them. Were they hot? Were they not? Let's bloody find out. But before I get into it, make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and turn on bell notifications. I don't know why I always do this when the bells are not here. They're like all the way down there. But yes, do hit the bell icon to be notified for my new videos. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so the first celeb we're gonna talk about is Alexa. I know if you guys don't know her, she is a K-pop star, but she recently just won an American like singing award show. I don't remember which one it is because I'm not that interested in her, but she just she did just win something. And I listened to a lot of her Korean songs, which are not bad. But this is the first time I'm seeing her like grace, I guess, the Western stage, if you will. And I'm like low-key very disappointed. Okay, so we have this all black number going on, blue hair. The thing is, I love black. Black can be so flattering. But I don't know if I like this whole black leather get-up sort of situation. And especially with the poofy sleeves. I feel like black leather, it's very edgy. So I don't understand why she mixed it with the puffy sleeves, which are very feminine. I just feel like those two things just juxtapose each other and I don't really know why she went for it. I mean, I like her blue hair, but like, you know, like leather black boots, the black nails, like it's just too, too much black going on. I personally don't care for it. I would not have worn it. I feel like her stylist should get fired and I should get hired, but that's just me. Moving on to the next one. Eamon's rating, not hot. Not hot at all. Okay, the next one is one of my faves. It is Doja. It is the Doja Cat. And honestly, she looked quite nice at the Met Gala, so I was really looking forward to see what she would pull out for the BBMAs. And I really don't know if I liked it or not. Like, A, okay, I understand she's going for the whole space theme with, like, the golden planet handbag and whatnot and, like, the long train. And also, okay, before we even get into the dress, look at her shoes, fam. At first, when I saw the picture, I was like, what is that? I was like, did she just wear a golden cast of her foot on the carpet? I'm so confused. So that's what I initially thought it was, but then I realized that was just the front part of the heel, and like the front part of the heel looks like gold plated toes, and then it actually does turn into a black heel, but I was like, I mean, commitment for one to your theme, 100%, but like, I really hate those shoes. The dress itself, at first I thought it was a one piece, but you can actually see in the middle, like it is a division, it is a two piece thing. And I just hate when dresses look like two pieces because they're not meant to be. And you can clearly see like the different shades of black between the two, so I'm not loving that. But then I saw it from a different angle and I was like, okay, this is not that bad. I mean, the, the golden nipple covers, I mean, this is Doja, like, I wouldn't expect anything less. I think she rocks them, she has a great pair of bibbies. So, I mean, you do you, boo, flaunt that shit like nobody's business, you know how I do. Oh, I don't know if I, I don't want to give this a not because I love her so much. You know, like from, from the other angle, ugh, no, actually from the other angle, I just looked at it and the other angle is actually worse. <laughs> What's the theme of this year's BBMAs? Everyone looking shit because they 100% achieved that. Like, well, what the hell? No, unfortunately, I love Doja Cat and her songs, but this is a not hot from me. Okay, on to the next celeb of the night. We have Dove Cameron. Now, honestly, I thought Dove Cameron, like, I can't tell the difference between Dove Cameron and Sabrina Carpenter. I feel like they're the exact same person, like, pre, you know, lip job and everything else. I just feel like they're the same. Were they Disney stars? Are they singers now? Are they actors? Like, A, I don't really know. B, I don't really care. <laughs> so, her dress is giving me major, like, 
Katniss Everdeen's at the Hunger Games ceremony where she always has those like red dresses that go up in flames. I feel like that was the inspiration for this look. It seems a bit costumey to me. I don't know why. Like, I do like the red, but she is so pale that I feel like the the contrast between them is super stark. I mean, I like I like, you know, this, the way it's, the dress is going in like that and hugging her boobs. And I like I like, I like the dress, I don't love it on her. I feel like if somebody else was wearing it, maybe it would be a lot nicer. Also, I didn't even know Dove Cameron was a brunette. I 100% thought she was blonde this whole time. So I mean, ee. And I know this dress probably cost her like a couple like 20 grand or something, but like it looks very cheaply made. It looks like something I would get in like a, like a costume department. Like even like the, the lining inside looks like, oh, like we just have to get something together real quick and like, let's just put it in. And even the way the dress is like poofing out, I feel like it just looks like styrofoamy. I don't, I really don't like this one. So I'm gonna give this a not hot by a long run. Sorry, Dove Cameron, I'm sure you're a great person. <laughs> Next is Florence Welch from Florence and the Machine. And okay, firstly, I'm not a big fan of Florence and the Machine. I feel like the only song I really liked was Sweet Nothing. And like, what was that other song? S the Spectrum, something Spectrum, something along those lines. And that was like, that. those songs came out when I was in high school. So like, I have not liked a Florence and the Machine song since then. And it's been like a good eight, nine, it's been a long time. <laughs> But anyway, okay, so this look, I don't understand, bro. I don't understand who told her to wear this. But no shade at all, Florence Welsh at the BBMA's carpet literally looked like a Victorian man. Not even a woman, a Victorian man. <laughs> like, what is this? Like, the pink is just not looking good. Like, do something with your hair. Like, and she's barely wearing any makeup and I'm all for, like, the natural look and everything like that. But this is a red carpet. You have to go all out. And I'm just not loving the minimalistic makeup. I'm not liking her hair. I feel like, I feel like it was like a half-assed attempt where she's like, oh, I kind of want curly hair, but I don't really know what to do. Can you just braid it the night before and I'll just wear it like that? Like, I feel like that's what her thought process was and I'm not behind it. No. And even, even the lace, the lace, the lace, <laughs> I can't even talk. The lace tights. No, the black shoes, no, the black gloves, no. Why are you wearing this with light pink? I don't understand. It is not the 1800s, it is 2022. Let's get something more hip in there. Come on, Florence Welch. This is such a no, this is such a no, it's not even funny. Okay, so the next one, this is the first guy we have on the list. Honestly, I didn't find many guys I like their outfits. I mean, granted, I put a lot of people on here where I didn't like their outfits. So next we have French Montana. And okay, I have an issue. I have a bone to pick with this outfit because I feel like this is exactly what he wore in the Guasa, not the Guasa, sorry, this is exactly what he wore in the Unforgettable like music video. I feel like he's just ridden that Unforgettable vibe since that song came out and he's just been wearing the same shit. Like I get you're an island boy. I get you're an island boy into island gal. <laughs> like I understand that, but no, come on, like I actually have seen him wear this shirt so many times and considering you're French Montana, I'm allowed to out for repeat. I have a washing machine, you should be rich enough to just continue buying clothes and never having to repeat anything. You know what I mean? Like this is not on. You have money, you use it, you buy clothes. So yeah, this is a no for me. I do like his hair, but then again, he's not black, so should he really be wearing those braids? I don't know, is that cultural appropriation? I don't know. Like this is a definitely not hot for me. I feel like this is great if you're going to a yacht party, but you're not, this is the BBMAs. Let's pull up our socks. Next, we have The Glass Animals. And I do like quite a bit of their songs, like who didn't like Heat Waves? Heat Waves been faking me out. Also, what is that lyric? Fecking me? Faking me? Fucking me out? What are you saying? I don't know. Now, this is the first sort of like band that we have being shown and like, I just, maybe this is like the K-pop fan in me. Like I like it if a band, you know, at least color coordinates to a certain degree. I'm not saying every single band member should be wearing the same outfit, but at least have like a similar color theme throughout, you know, like similar accented colors throughout. So we at least have some like harmony of like, you are a band. You know what I mean? And firstly, I don't know any of their names. I like the two guys on the right. I feel like they look borderline coordinated in the check. Honestly, you know what this reminded me of? I feel like these are like the most fashionable twinks coming together and like gracing us on the carpet. I don't love them. I especially don't like the guy wearing the bucket hat. I just don't see the place for it and it just doesn't match his getup. Um, the guy in the maroon, I feel like, <laughs> look at him, he's just happy, happy to be there. 
<laughs> he was like, oh, I wasn't even gonna invite it, but like, here I am. His is very like standard. We've all seen like guys wear like, you know, interestingly colored suits and just bring that to the red carpet. If anything, I think it's the front man outfit who I like the most, the checkered jacket, the, you know, glasses, the white top. It seems very like pulled together, like very minimal, but also, you know, like chic hipster type vibes. I do like that. Can I give it like a hot for half the members and not hot for the other half the members? Like, is that allowed? Because I don't want to give them a hot because they don't deserve it. So I'm going to put like 50-50 on this one. 50-50, kind of hot, kind of not. Okay, the next person that was at the red carpet is Heidi Klum. Now, Heidi Klum, if you guys don't know, she is, uh, actually, I'm not even going to introduce Heidi Klum. If you don't know her, you're a fucking idiot. Heidi Klum, major supermodel, is really known for like her Halloween makeovers that are actually insane. She used to be a Victoria. A secret model used to be married to that guy seal was it seal i think they're not together anymore um but she is wearing this pale yellow it's actually the, it's kind of like the color of my shorts to be fair but more like chartreuse more with a bit of green yeah i know what the color chartreuse is ah, you guys probably don't she has legs for days and she has limbs for days so like i love the fact she's wearing you know the thigh high black boots and like the gloves but honestly, I feel like I kind of expected more from her. Like the dress is fine. It's nothing out of this world. It's nothing we haven't seen before. But I mean, it's Heidi Klum. So I mean, if you put a regular dress on a bloody supermodel, it's gonna look amazing. Um, it's not my favorite look, but I'm thinking from the perspective, would I wear this? And I wouldn't mind wearing this. So for that reason, I'm gonna say it's hot, but it is not my favorite look from the from the carpet by any means. Okay, next we have Jack Harlow, and I feel like I have like a love-hate relationship with him. I honestly don't listen to his songs. I know he's very popular, and I, I, I know when his songs come onto the radio because I know what he sounds like, but I don't avidly go out of my way to get on Spotify and listen to his songs. But like, I've been seeing interview snippets from him recently on Instagram and Twitter and whatnot and I feel like he's really cute and he's really cool and like very level-headed like he's funny he doesn't drink he doesn't do drugs and I think that's really big for any rapper in the industry especially when you're a new rapper and you're surrounded by all the glitz and glam all of them are just like doing cocaine like nobody's business so like I'm very like happily surprised he's not into that but that has nothing to do with his look today I genuinely really like his look I think it's super crisp I love how angular the shoulders are that make him look that he has make him look like he has bigger shoulders but he may not i love like the cinched in thing in the middle i don't know if it's it's obviously not a belt it's like i don't know part of his suit but i like it i haven't really seen much of this and like you know his pants are well fitting obviously with guys there's only so much you can do i don't want to say he played it safe because this is an interesting design of a suit but again it is a suit i think this is hot and i would like to see my partner wearing this this is a hot for me okay next we have kylie and travis now, honestly, can we just, can we just for a second talk about what she was wearing at the Met Gala? Because I was like, what are you doing? Are you going to the Met Gala at seven and playing ball at eight? I was like, what is this dress? What is this? What is this hat? What is this veil? Everything was wrong. Everything was wrong. I feel like Kylie didn't even want to go, but Anna Wintour was like, please come. It just won't be the same without you. And then she was like, okay, fine. Let me just find something in my wardrobe and wear it. That's actually what I felt like she did at the Met Gala. And even at the BBMAs, like, I feel like it's no different. I feel like she's kind of lost her touch recently. I don't understand what this dress is. Is it meant to be watercolor effect? I don't know. And we've seen the Kardashian clan wear, like, fully long dresses which are skin tight way too many times like we get it you have a lovely body whether it's god given or surgeon given i'm not complaining i enjoy it but like come on like i i i, I know she's done so much better and so i wish she had done better but i think travis is looking pretty good he's wearing his jordan's collab i really like those i actually wanted to get them myself but like you know the the army green suit the loose suit i'm vibing with it i'm vibing with it like this is not the swaggiest travis look out there but i don't mind it so i'm gonna give a hot to travis and a not hot to kylie sorry okay 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 the most See, even the birds were excited for that one. Now, the most 
talked about couple from the BBMAs, MGK and Megan Fox. Dude, I don't know how Megan Fox resurrected from like the irrelevance that she was in, but oh my god, she is so relevant now and I love her and like I'm all about her. I love seeing what she's wearing. Her makeup's always on point and honestly, Machine Gun Kelly is kind of cool as well. I hate his songs, like I don't like his genre of music, but he's a cool guy. I've seen some of the interviews, pretty cool. Yes, yes, whatever, drink your own blood, who cares? And it's so funny because all the captions on their photos from the BBMAs are like, oh, he fell in love with his emo girl, he found his emo girl. Like, whatever, dude. I think Megan looks nice. I don't think she's out of this world by any means, but she's Megan bloody fox, so of course she's out of this world. I don't love what Machine Gun Kelly is wearing, like the cropped jacket with the spikes, the super tight patterned shirt inside. Maybe if it was a looser shirt, maybe I would have liked it if he was wearing just the shirt a bit looser and just not the crop jacket. And I know everyone's like, oh, Machine Gun Kelly is so into fashion. He's so fashionable, you can't even. Like, okay, and I understand, like being fashionable is one thing, but like just taking things out of context and just fucking wearing them because you think it's cool, like, I don't know. Like I'm not liking the striped ensemble at all. Not striped, sorry. I'm not liking the spiked ensemble by any means at all, to be honest. I mean, the only thing I like is his pink hair, to be honest. Like I'm not loving this, but I mean, they're so hot and you can't hate them. You know, you can't hate them. So I'm gonna give Megan a hot and I'm gonna give Colton a not hot. Okay, next, also the subject of so many viral memes right now is Megan the Stallion with her little stalker shadow, Cara Delevingne. Now I'm not gonna read Cara's look because I feel like she honestly came to be Megan's bodyguard. I don't even know if she dressed up for the event because it seems like she didn't. I feel like this is just her regular like, oh, I'm going for a brunch, let me fucking put this on. Um, Megan the Stallion, what do I think of her outfit? I don't care if you wanna show skin, I'm someone who shows a lot of skin. Show as much skin as you want, power to you. You wanna free the fucking nipple? Free your nipple! Free them both! Put them in my mouth! <laughs> um, oh, what did I just say? <laughs> I don't love this look from her. I just don't understand the, the train. I don't understand the color combination. Like, I don't like these mixes of brown. I think her makeup was snatched, but this is not a makeup hot or not. It is a outfit hot or not. And I'm gonna have to say this is a not hot. I don't even have much to say about her outfit, to be honest. Like, it is what it is. Like, it's nothing out of this world. Okay, so like the whole tip top of her dress is actually some like glass made thing that ends over here. I'm just not liking it. I think she looked good at other events, but I just don't love her here. I don't know why I think. I think she could have gone further. And you know who I think was holding her back? Cara Delevingne. That girl, man, she just fucked everyone in the industry. She's going off to every single girl in the industry. She wants to fuck Megan too. She's probably already fucked Megan. Damn. And last but not least on the list, we have Quincy Brown. And I had no idea who he was and then I realized, okay, you're an actor. <laughs> At first I googled Quincy Jones and I was like, wait, he's super old and this guy's not old. Clearly I have the wrong person. I think Quincy looks swaggy. Like I love when guys wear different colors and I love this lavender pink purple ensemble that he has going on. I love his jacket. He just looks crisp. He looks like those like, I know he's probably not Latino, but he looks like those Latino men that are just gonna like come and suave into your life and just like take you away. You know what I mean? I'm not like, the pants are nice, There's, they've got a lot of pockets on it, it's very like tech wear inspired. But you know, I think this is a hot outfit, like maybe minus all the pockets, even the shoes are doing it for me, everything is doing it for me at this point. I actually love this outfit. I'm gonna give Quincy Jones very hot, very hot. Sorry, this one, last but not least, is Tiana Taylor. Now, I thought she was like some big 90s music star, but I just found out she's actually not, and she's just like a random, not random, just a regular singer. And I kept seeing pictures of her, and I didn't know who she was, and I was like, but I wanna include her on the list because look at those abs. Like, look at those abs, those abs could cut things. Like, she's in such good shape. Honestly, I love this ensemble. I, it's very grungy, I like her hair, it's all over the place. I like the strong, bold red lip and the strong, bold jewelry. I think it's, they're very statement pieces considering her outfit itself is like a lot plainer. Love the crop or bra, if you will. I love the jeans. I don't even mind the fact that they have chains all over them. I feel like we did do that back in the day, like at the end of the 90s, like start of 2000s, like people did like chain jeans. But those shoes, like oh damn, damn Daniel, what are those? What are those? Like, it's not only that she can step on me, she will step on me and leave an imprint, probably break my rib and then step off of me. 
Like, you know how some people are like, oh, step on me, zaddy, sit on my face. No, 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 no. She's gonna break you. She's actually gonna break you. And she came, she woke up and chose violence. She was like, I'm gonna wear these boots. I can wear heels, but fuck it, I'm wearing these boots. These boots are massive. These boots are bigger than her. <laughs> I'm gonna give this, other than the shoes, other than the shoes, I'm gonna give this hot. This deserves the hot. And that is it for today's video, you guys. Let me know if you enjoyed. This is kind of like a fun sort of, you know, just kind of a fun segue from what I usually do. Let me know if you want a part two of like the other looks that happen at the BBMAs. Also, let me know if you want me to do a Met Gala edition. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. Also, if I came for your faves in this video, obviously you guys know I'm joking. Like I'm just trying to make things funny. I, but these opinions are my own. I'm not gonna lie, these opinions are my own. <laughs> but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Also, wait, forget about that. What about my outfit? I was feeling very yellow today. I went for this yellow. So I got these cute shorts from Levi's. I also got these cute like beaded. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, there you can. So like the cute beaded, like sort of like bracelets that like kids wear, but I feel like these are just gonna make a huge comeback if they haven't already. And I bought a bunch for the summer so I can color coordinate them with my outfits. So yes, what do you guys think of my outfit too? You can also do a hot or not in the comments below. <laughs> I can take the heat, don't worry. Anyway guys, catch you in the next one, bye.